Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about my newest book, When Reading Happens I Can Comprehend. This is a teacher manual, teacher resource, also a guide for parents as well as for students. So all three um, people can use it, uh, whether you're a student, whether you're a parent, whether you're a teacher. Um, this book is a resource for you to help a reader or help yourself if you're struggling um, with reading comprehension. And so When Reading Happens I Can Comprehend is a set of steps. and also a confession that can be used as you are reading. And so today I want to focus on one of the steps, which is the first step, highlight, and actually break down what actually happens when a student uses the first strategy or the first step, highlight. Of course happens, it starts with an H. So highlight stands for H. And as you can see, I just have a printout. Actually, these printouts um, are available in different colors on teacherpayteacher.com um, where I have a store. And so you can use this as a um, as something that you hang up in the classroom. You can use it on different um, desks. You can use it as a placard. And I just want to do a real big break, just a commercial break real quick um, as I go through and talk about what you can also place on the desk. And I'm also giving this to a few teachers this week where you can actually have this card, what I call a desk label, um, taped to the desk or on their um, electronic devices if you are a one-to-one -one school. As a reminder, as the students are reading, I also have another set of uh, class, a set of 30 that will be available where actually the steps are actually um, labeled um, and it looks very similar actually it's identical to the book cover and so the steps highlight apply practice pinpoint evaluate now select is actually what the students see and I'll show that at the end um, a model of what it looks like on a desk but for right now let's talk about highlighting highlighting is the first step and so I actually encourage the students to use their highlighter and the things that I ask the students to highlight um, and this is something that we do for a series of three weeks so that it becomes routine it becomes practice it becomes the norm of every time that they're reading a selection they know exactly what to do first this is the first thing I ask them to do and I begin to do this in a, a series of uh, or a span of three weeks but I started out as letting them do it at their own pace and then I encourage them to increase their pace so um, I teach on the middle school level so their selections are a little longer if, if you're on a, a elementary school level versus um, being on a high school level so you want to make sure that you create a time span in the book I actually talk about how long a student should stay on each step and so with this I say no longer than a minute for each selection the thing Things that you actually highlight, which is here, if you decide to purchase this on Teacher Pay Teacher, you'll see that it states everything that should be highlighted. Names, numbers, words you don't know. And this is very important when you are um, trying to identify things um, <clears throat> or have things that you want to bring back to their attention when they're trying to find the create, um, correct answer. So I hope this was useful. I will start another edition um, next week and I'll talk about the second step. Hope that you've learned something. Hope that you want to learn more about the book by ordering the book, which is on my profile page in the link that is um, in the bio. And also I'll be giving one of these books away. If you would like to get a free copy of the book, and there is an option where you can get a free copy of the book by offering or by providing a review of the book, that is also something that you can look into by sending me a DM. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.